the nature of every living thing, evidence of sense, signs of the mind, it bears true witness that this universe has a wise creator, worthy of worship, and must be believed in, and every movement and calmness is an evident, and everything he has a sign indicating that he is the one. And believe in Allah, the Almighty, is the origin of assets and the greatest duties. The Messenger of Allah was asked, Peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, which actions are the best? He said, Believe in Allah. Believe in Allah is achieved through four pillars. Believe in his, in his existence, believe in his lordship, believe in his monotheism of divinity, believe in his names and attributes. His presence, glory be to him, is clear. It is proved by the human nature, sense and the mind. And everything in the universe is witness to that. Allah the Almighty said, Or were they created by nothing? Or were they the creators of themselves? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? In fact, they have no firm belief in Allah. Believe in his Lordship, glory be to him, is achieved by believing that he is the Lord, the Creator, the Sustainer. He has the full kingdom and control. Nothing moves without his permission, nor stays still without his order. Say, who provides for you from the heaven and the earth? Who controls hearing and sight, and who brings the living out of the death, and brings the dead out of the living, and who arranges every matter? They will say Allah, so say, then will you not fear him? The, the requirement of belief in Allah the Almighty believing that there is no one worthy of worship except him. So no worship is to be done only to him, and we don't seek the reward of worship only from him. Allah the Almighty said, Say indeed my prayer, my rites of sacrifice, my living, and my dying all for Allah, Lord of the worlds. As for belief in the names and attributes of Allah, necessitates that He, the Most High, is free from any form of defect and shortcoming. And to affirm that the Almighty has affirmed for Himself in His book and His messenger, peace be upon Him in the Sunnah, from the most beautiful names and attributes, without distorting or diversing his names and attributes of it, its meanings or assimilating or specifying its essence. Allah the Almighty said and Allah has the most beautiful names so call upon him by them and keep away from those who abuse his names they will be recompensed for what they have been doing.